Okay, this is Eitan Shalom. Actually, let me check. Yes, okay, we're rolling. So, I wanted to talk about this cabbage and carrot dish. Well, cabbage, let's just say carrot. The, ca the ca cabbage, the carrot is just a little extra that you don't even have to ha include if you don't want to. In fact, um, the original version of this dish uh, that I had was actually just ca uh, carrot without the cabbage. So, um, let's talk about vata dosha for a moment. Vata dosha is the characteristics in a human being of everything you could say about wind and space. So one of those characteristics is that space is profoundly cold and wind is also cold. Wind cools you off. That's why you fan the food to cool it down when it's hot. In India with a little bamboo uh, palm leaf fan. It's why you turn on the ceiling fan when it's hot, etc, etc. So um, wind has two characteristics. One is that it's cooling or cold. The other is that it's drying. That's why if you do your laundry and you hang it up outside and it's not particularly hot out or even very sunny, if it's windy, the, uh, the laundry will dry faster. In fact, how do we dry our clothes? We put it in the clothes dryer, and what does the clothes dryer do? It moves things around. It creates a kind of artificial wind, if you will. So, uh, vata dosha, people with vata dosha as their primary dosha will suffer from problems of cold and problems of dryness. They will often have dry skin, uh, they can have a dry in the gut, which means that they can be prone to constipation, um, they can have dry personality types sometimes, um, and they can also suffer from cold, they get cold easily, and uh, they also uh, can have uh, get be prone to arthritis because they get cold and, and dry in the joints, um, uh, and it's our fluid in the joints that keeps them supple. Um, and then the other thing is um, that, um, I, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought, about the vata dosha and the kind of problems, yes. So um, uh, digestion itself is a is a process of fiery transformation, fire trans tra fiery transformation of solid material into energy, solid material and liquid materials into energy, and that happens because of the presence of fiery liquids, such as digestive enzymes, such as pancreatic enzymes, hydrochloric acid in the stomach, saliva, etc., etc., and we call that in Ayurveda Agni, or digestive fire. In Chinese medicine, it's called the spleen Hunhua. Uh, in Chinese, uh, I pretended to know the tone. I don't know the tone. Uh, but it sounds like hunhua, something like that. Anyway, um, so vata dosha being cold and dry tends to have weak digestion, probably because of weaker digestive enzymes. Uh, um, uh, and, you know, vata types, when they're older, they get dry mouth and stuff like that. So, but the key point is um, digestion, in fact, life itself is a process of fiery transformation of food into energy, of experience into wisdom, and that's also why vata types, part of why vata types can be very sensitive types and delicate and have difficulty processing uh, if their agni is weak, if, if their digestive fire is weak, uh, their emotional digestive fire, they can have difficulty surmounting life's difficulties. That combined with a tendency to be spacey because of the the aspect of vata dosha that's uh, sp that has to do with space, they can easily fall prey to uh, drug use as a way to get by. Okay, that's just a, a, a little bit. I'm going to check the time. Hold on. That's a little bit of a uh, introduction thumbnail sketch of vata dosha, and so. Um, when we come to foodstuffs for vata dosha, this is why vata dosha needs a diet that's predominantly warming food, unctuous food, food with adequate fat, uh, food full of, uh, uh, of, of easy, to dig easy to digest starches. Um, vatas tend to also be on the thin side. Uh, they don't gain weight easily, so uh, they need a diet with uh, well-cooked, easy to digest food. So raw food, such as salad and raw vegetables, is exactly what a vata dosha does not need, should not have. And in fact, you'll, you'll notice that uh, there are some people that, for example, can't eat cabbage. Uh, cabbage 
um, uh, when they eat it, it gives them a lot of gas. That is a weakness of the gut. That's a weakness of digestive fire. It's an inability to transform uh, and digest cabbage without a uh, excessive byproduct of, of gas. And so um, that's an example of uh, why, uh, that's an example of the vata gut being on the weaker side. Whereas a pitta, somebody with a strong digestive fire, they can eat anything. When they're young, they can eat a whole pizza and they don't even feel uh, heavy or anything like that. So um, vata doshas should have food that's warming, food that's easier to digest, uh, and that means uh, uh, when it comes to vegetables, uh, um, cooked vegetables much more than raw vegetables. What time of year can vata doshas have a salad and raw vegetable in the summer? Because in the summer, everybody's agni, uh, 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 everybody's pitta rather, uh, uh, is higher and we all get overheated. Um, but they have to, vata dosha needs the, veg, the raw vegetables or salad to have a kind of flavor profile or cook or, or combination of ingredients that makes it more palatable to vata and more, what we would say in Ayurveda, more vata, pacify, vata pacifying. So if we say that something's vata pacifying or pitta pacifying, it's a way of saying that it can keep the dosha in check. And it's also a way of saying that it's not going to aggravate the dosha. So the way to, the way to do that with salads, for example, is, you know, a warming oily dressing with herbs and, and spices like uh, olive oil and balsamic vinegar with uh, oregano and thyme. That's an example. So in this dish, sorry, I'm going to check the time again since I mentioned thyme. So in this dish, the uh, first of all, this is... If you just tried to give a vata dosha raw cabbage and raw carrot um, and raw coconut, um, it's it's not going to work. Um, the coconut would be okay because in small small amounts because coconut is sweet. Sweet tasting foods, uh, it, sweet is one of the flavors that keeps vata dosha in check. So what we've done here is by adding simply by combining raw cabbage and carrot with lime the lime sort of cooks the stuff and then we've added coconut which is fatty uh, as well provides some fat and then we've added cumin now cumin is a brilliant digestive herb that is in a lot of digestive formulas in ayurveda exactly for weak agni or weak digestive fire so the presence of the cumin and the presence of the black pepper and uh, in some way the presence of the, co the presence of the coconut because it's sweet and and unctuous uh, uh, slightly heavy um, makes and, and then of course there's salt which is also pacifies um, vata and in fact this is the amount of salt that you need for this to have the right flavor is a fairly high amount of salt very often vatas have low blood pressure so that's not an issue for them and um, the recipe that I gave in the beginning I actually ended up that wasn't enough lime I haven't made this in a while I actually used two and a half limes and it might even tomorrow add a little bit more. This is the kind of dish that's actually, it's raw. It's better the next day as the flavors settle in. That's even true of some a lot of curries, in fact. So, um, so that's why this is a dish that is um, pretty well tolerated by vata dosha in moderation in the summer when it's hot out and, and even a vata dosha needs a bit more cooling. If you then make this with mustard seed, popped mustard seed and curry leaf and some grated red onion, uh, um, that will make it even a little bit more uh, vata uh, tolerable. Um, and this is also a dish that's, that's uh, pretty good for pitta dosha because it's not a very spicy hot dish and pitta dosha tolerates raw food really well. And also, um, you know, you've got the cooling lime and, and the cooling uh, coconut. Um, if you didn't put too much salt in it, um, this is also can be a fine dish.